faces, everybody. Elena, you're up. And the chef today. You look like you're made out of clay, and so does Agaton Zach. You look real funny in that pink dress in that clay wonderland. <laughs> Elena. Elena. What's wrong, guys? There's a lot of smoke in here. Wow, you guys are so clay-like, so animated. I just can't even mix the cameras right now. Stop, guys. I need to focus and take a picture. Okay, everyone, everything's fixed. The CO2 is working perfect now. Elena, you're good to go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to On Time Cooking with the UPN Foundation. I'm your host, Zach Kiefer. Elena Esquin is on assignment in the field. Um, <laughs> This is a show where we invite our favorite local chefs and cooking enthusiasts to meet our challenge, which is to create a great meal in under 30 minutes. Uh, and with me tonight, I have the king of the keys, the master of melodies, John Dash Dixon. Hello, John. How you doing? I'm great. It's good to see you in that position, but <laughs> I'm busy laying about, you know. Well, you know. It's a good substitute. We got Elena on assignment in the field. She's doing some Good. real important work out there. So it rained yeah. hard today. That's mm -hmm. probably why. It is. Yeah. And also, that's Bernadette Brown, of course, <laughs> the queen of the clock, the master of ceremonies, keeping everything running smooth. How are you doing, Bernadette? Aw, thanks. It's the gift of gab, right? I'm doing exactly. good. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice to see you up here. Well, you Mr. know, Bob. I've been here before. Um, you can do this. Yeah, I can do. I'm going to do Dash's thing next week. Look out. Oh, yeah. whoa. Sure that means you'll be up there. <laughs> no, I'm on vacation. Yeah, yeah we're all on vacation. You can do so. this next week. Definitely. Okay. I'll be here. I'll be watching. And our special guest tonight, Miss Tia. Hi. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have you. Welcome, welcome. So, we got a big show tonight. Obviously, as you can see, this massive array of ingredients in front of me. It just boggles the mind. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get our chef out here. Chef Michael. All right, all right. How you doing? Good, good to see you. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, good, good. welcome. Good. good. So what do you got? It looks like, um, I'm gonna guess tuna? That is a very good guess, because that is not steak. Yes. <laughs> it could be a tuna steak. There you it go. is. But actually, I'll let you intro the dish. I'll get out of your way. Uh, so without further ado, Thank you, Michael, sir. take the stage. How you all doing tonight? I'm Chef Michael Webb. I uh, own Tupelo Catering. It's a local catering company, private chef company here in Clearwater, Florida. Tonight I will presenting, be presenting a ahi tuna burger. Uh, it's got some accoutrements we'll go through in the, in the end. Got a side item of kettle cooked chips. And we're going to start this evening with a nice rosé guava punch. Oh my God. It's got a sparkling it rosé in it. Doesn't it? Yeah. Guava nectar, wow. a little bit of coconut water to refresh you in these hot summer days, right? It's got a hint of lime in it and fresh blueberries. Oh my golly. So, that is like why don't you try that one? one? Okay, I, someone else is going to have to talk for the show because I am going to be buzzing. You can't uh, be that busy. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. And okay. we'll give our guest Tia a little bit while you're, uh, Thank you. you're welcome. Oh my gosh. Okay, if this is cheers. what the meals, meal is going to be to come, cheers. We're ready to let you go right ahead and cook while we drink. You're wonderful. Member. I appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, the reason I chose the great. punch and the rosé is because rosé and tuna are a very good pairing. Both are light, airy. I figured going into summer, going into the 4th of July, we can have a nice uh, healthy alternative to, you know, your burgers, your hot dogs, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a tuna burger. First thing I'm going to do. I'm gonna take this beautiful tuna loin, which I got from Jensen Seafood down in downtown Dunedin this morning. Oh, no. Super good guys, love them. If you ever want really good fresh fish, you wanna go down there. So I'm gonna take this loin and I'm gonna dice it to about quarter inch, half inch dice cubes. You don't wanna make them too small. 
because you don't want to turn it mealy and make it meat feel like uh, like ground tuna almost. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to make it too big because then it won't hold together. So just take my time. Interesting. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming to our work. Thanks for having show. us. Yeah. Or me. This Whoever. Is, well, us. Yeah, no. <laughs> me and my me and my other sidekick over there that there you, you can't see. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Welcome on. Yeah. Yeah, I know she's there. So we'll say welcome. So um, tell us, you had mentioned at the beginning of the show something about catering. Can you tell us again what the name is? So my company is called Tupelo Catering. Okay. I'm located here in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, I do any events from a two-person anniversary dinner that's on your lanai and it's at your private home. Oh. To a 2,000 person wedding. Wow, that's great. Anywhere, right. off site, on site, you name it. I've been right. doing it for off and on for about 20 years now. And I oh, just decided to do it full time and work for myself. And So, do you do a lot of weddings as well? I do. That's, mo well, I used to do a lot. Now it's more corporate events. For some reason, oh, it's just good, switched though. to that. Yeah. But um, I started out doing a lot of weddings. Always. What's your favorite kind of event to cater to? Uh, I really like the private dinner mm -hmm. aspect. Um, I have a group of people that, you know, use me quite regularly for special occasions, dinners, an or dinners, anniversaries, Father's Day, s Easter brunch, stuff like that. So it's good, nice. and, it, and it's very personable. Um, you get to know the people, and yeah. they understand, you know, how much you care about the food and how much you care about them. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know, that that's why I like that part of it, because it's service. I can understand that. And I like serving people. So. I can understand that. So again, I'm going to go back to this tuna. Mm -hmm. So um, is there a rule of thumb, how much tuna, or how much fish per person? Like, how would you so judge? I made the recipe to call for uh, a six ounce burger. That's a pretty big burger. Um, I would probably go more around the four to five ounce um, with everything that's going to be with it. Um, so, you know, two pounds will get you, you know, six to eight burgers. Okay. Um, okay. So, this is, um, you know, I, I did the secret trick. Are we allowed to know the secret trick? Not yet. Because that's the, that's the TV trick. Oh, you know when, when all of a sudden something appears and magic. it's magically made? Yeah, that's that magic. There you go. Oh, yeah, we have to keep something to ourselves here. <laughs> all right. So now that we got the tuna in the bowl, I'm going to add all my other ingredients. I've got fresh serrano peppers right here. Oh, are those spicy? Not no? really. They're more flavorful. Then jalapeno and a little bit spicier. Okay. Kind of like a cross between a poblano and a Oh, jalapeno. okay. All right, I'm with you on that one. Okay, that I do know. What about, uh, okay, Tia, while you're doing that, Tia, welcome again. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. So what is interesting, I understand that you do something interesting also having to do with food here. I'm a foodie. I have a food blog. I'm working on a, an e-book. But it's gonna nice. take yeah, it's gonna take me about a year to accumulate uh, enough recipes. That's okay. So yeah, that sounds fun. So what kind I'll of sell you um, some. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. there's a deal going one. on. Sure. <laughs> here, wait a minute. I've got the pen. Hang on before you talk anymore. <laughs> Hang on here. I mean, I'm watching you, so. I can... I, <laughs> you know, it's only ten percent, right? Oh to change God. the recipe and make yeah. it yours. So. Uh -oh. Contracts being drawn up right that, now. But now I know. <laughs> That's interesting though. So, where can people find you? Well, on Instagram um, and uh, Facebook. And then, what, what should they look for? Your name, name or? Yeah, it's T H E A dot L O U N. Okay. All right. I'm going to look. Okay. That sounds exciting. <laughs> well, you're going to have to download the app first. I, I, I'm going to have to download the app. That's right. But I can find you on Facebook though, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to look because I'm, I'm interested. I hope you look. And you're I definitely am going to like drool. Of course. <laughs> Oh, this sounds like there might be a little bit of competition. Maybe that might come on. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, Michael, what um, have you mixed in there then? Share with us. So, I've things. added fresh garlic. Okay. Um, of course. And with the garlic and the ginger as well, and everything here, because you're using fresh ingredients, you don't, uh, you don't have to use a lot. You know, because right. a little goes a long way. A long way. Um, 
I understand that one because that is fresh. So, and there's nothing better than fresh ingredients anyway, especially when you're doing fish. Am I right? Correct. Because it's such a fresh, yeah. Um, so then, fresh ginger, fresh lime zest, scallions, cilantro, oh, black and white toasted sesame seeds, a little bit of organic tamari. I also put a little sriracha in here and my special seasoning blend, which nobody gets to know. No. It smells no. amazing, by the way. It Thank does. You. No, we're, we're not going to ask that. That's special. <laughs> so then once you get all those ingredients in, and you're just lightly kind of yeah, tossing these because you don't want to beat up the tuna. So this is where we're at right now. Oh, I bet that looks nice. Yeah. It smells great, right? It's, yeah, it right? smells like almost a little bit hot. Oh! Uh, lemon, maybe lemongrass is what I smell. I'm not sure. Or, it's probably the cross between the ginger and the lime. And ginger and lime. Yeah. yeah. That's giving you that, oh, good. So a little yeah. bit of beaten eggs. Organic brown, farm-raised from Plant City. Got them at John's Produce, local, wow. so. I know that you know. one. I know um, that one. Little so, panko. Michael, while you're mixing that, you said, we, we know that your mom is here watching. <laughs> so, have you always enjoyed cooking? Yeah, well, I don't know if I enjoyed it when I was five or six and, you know, peeling potatoes and carrots on a box in yeah. a whole home park oh, in gosh. Alabama, but <laughs> yeah, right. um, that's how I learned to cook. And that's wow. where my passion came from, I believe, you know, after all these years. Like, my grandmother and my mother are my source of inspiration and whatnot. That's nice to know. Yeah. So it's an homage to them, huh? Yes. So once we are done mixing that together. Oh, that smells oh, great. Yeah, right? I could just like flick the sauce right uh, Exactly. <laughs> no, seriously, it smells so good just the way it is. No, good. You got it. So now I'm gonna make these into patties. Wow. Exciting. And at this point, after we make the patties, if you want to make this fast, you can freeze the patties, you know, for about 10 or 15 minutes, or just fridge, refrigerate them for 30 minutes, because there's not a lot in here to hold them together, okay. because you don't want there to be, because like it's kind binder. of like a really nice crab cake, where right. there's not a lot in it, except oh, crab. Look good, though. So the tuna is kind of the same thing. Wow, doesn't that look great? So, you know, wow. it's not like an actual burger where you can, you know, mash it together. So you're just kind of lightly, lightly forming it together mm -hmm. so that it creates. So you're doing that with tuna. So you can do it with other fish? Yeah, right but you're not going to have the same wonderful effect at the end of this because what we're going to end up doing is just searing these. So the oh, middle will wow. still be rare, like ahi, okay. like, like sushi. Like sushi, like ahi, right? Is yes. that what that means? Ahi tuna? Ahi tuna? is just another name for tuna. Oh, okay. Okay. So these are going to go in the freezer, hopefully. Oh. Uncovered. Just pop them on in there. Yep. Or you can cover them if there's stuff yeah, in there that is there going that to would... pick up a scent or something like you that. You got it. You got it. Oh, so just... then, since then... That's all set to go. We've got our buns. The accoutrements that are going with these today mm -hmm. are cider pickled red onions. Mm. Those are Cigar City cider pickled red onions. Ah. Uh, the electric color comes from using beets okay. to bleed out in the pickling sy system. So, And then we have a nice coleslaw, which is just straight Savoy cabbage, but it's mixed with uh, a cilantro vinaigrette. Just oh, lime juice, good. mirin, rice wine vinegar, Bragg's mm -hmm. apple cider, a um, little bit of garlic, a little bit of scallions, cilantro, wow. olive oil, and then just a touch of mayo at the end. So mm -hmm. it's so more it's on the vinaigrette side. Gotcha. Just got a little Not bit of creamy the in there to kind of bind it all together. Got a nice avocado ranch. Nice. <laughs> so Sounds it's kind of great. like a menagerie of different... Um, Flavors, flavors and cuisines. Textures and yep. Wow. So we're trying to cover all the bases. So hopefully we knock it out of the park. If not, if I don't, then we'll have to take bring the secret uh, no, ingredient. No, no, out. no, you totally are knocking <laughs> it out of the park. Come on, come on. 
totally. Well, you already did with this. That's for sure. Well, yeah. Did you finish yours already? I sure did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, good. I'm savoring mine. You're enjoying it. Oh, it's delicious. So what I'm going to do now? You continue on and do what you need to do. Um, I are you wondering how we're we're able to do our show and who might sponsor us? Yes. Okay. So good because I'm going to let you know who it is. <laughs> so right now, while you continue on. Um, Chef Michael, I'm going to go ahead and thank, as I always do, our sponsor, um, Donna Reed. Um, she's been the most special sponsor of On Time Cooking. Um, she does wonderful artwork, and like I said, we always have one of her beautiful um, hand-done pieces right behind us right here on the wall, and that is Donna Reed. I would love it if you would um, visit her website, um, DonnaBuilt.com, um, and look at all the beautiful colors that she has in her pieces and how intricate, and you can walk right in them. So please um, thank Donna um, for all of her sponsorship to us. And also, um, we want to thank Agata. She is one of our very special crew members that does a wonderful, incredible um, camera work here as our chefs are creating and she creates very individual and intricate pieces of jewelry from all sorts of um, materials and so forth that she um, picks up, finds, and designs. I have one of her pieces on right now, and um, I want you to go ahead and visit her website. Um, that's Mookie Fashion. You can find her on Etsy, by the way, which is a huge um, uh, venue for her to be on. So again, let's thank Agatha for all her sponsorship. So right now, it is about halfway time here to check in on our chef and see what's going on. I'm here. Where's the chef? <laughs> You're here. Well, he's cooking. I'm over here. Oh. He's cooking. Where would you come from? Well, you know, I just uh, teleported in here. I teleported. So, uh, you know. From another From time. Another ship and here <laughs> yeah. So how's it going? There's I don't see it's going any wonderful. here. What's going on? I know, on? I'm I'm already I'm already ahead of you. I'm oh, sorry. There you go. I've got some beautiful uh -oh. things in here. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's turn our backs to the camera. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the tuna burgers that we've been right, working it's, on. It's looking good. It's looking They're getting ready to so solidify up and kind of yeah. hold together. Mm -hmm. Oh. So talk louder, right? Yeah, talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things for me to do tonight, yeah, yes. Right? Professional television folks. Yes. These look good. They look real great. So you think you're going to finish on time? Yeah. Absolutely. You on track? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Should have given me less time. Well, you could do that. <laughs> Bernadette can ring that bell at any moment, so you got to Oh, you it. never know. Yeah, do not. She is the queen of the clock, uh, I, so uh, yeah. what she says queen goes. Queen of the what? what was that? Queen that was close. Family, okay, family just show. wanted to know family what show. you said. <laughs> you anyway, get some more views, though. Yeah, get some more just, views. You know. Well, not on Facebook. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, looks good. I will uh, come back to check on you in just a little bit. Uh, but now, with some uh, scintillating music, our yes. uh, in house Ooh. musician, John Dash Dixon. And here we go. Original. Magic. 
always. You're welcome. Oh, this good music. I'm telling Good music, good friends. Good food. Cheers. And cheers. Okay, we're back to you, Chef Michael. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're doing really good over here. How are you doing? Fantastic. Are you enjoying your cocktails? It is so good and yeah. light. It's so refreshing, right? It is. It's good. so refreshing. Very cool. Very good. What are, you, what are you doing over there with that? So I'm getting ready. I just buttered some buns. Okay. Getting ready to uh, flash it in the oven in the boiler. Give it a little toast. Okay. Um, waiting for our pan to heat up over here. Okay. Got my olive oil. Always olive oil. I'm sorry, but that's a staple with me. Turn this up a little bit. So this is something that you've done before. You've made this dish before. I've made it one time at oh. Islander Days out at Honeymoon Island. Oh my golly, Honeymoon Island. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. It sounds so we romantic. There. Honeymoon Island. Have you been to Honeymoon Island? I oh, have. it's such a nice place. I like it there. It's beautiful. It's so good. It's yeah. one of the best parts. It is. I agree. Around. It is. So good. I'm going to let my pan get hot. I use a non-stick. Um, it's just easier. It is. I, I agree <laughs> with you. Quicker um, you can get to your meal. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not going to stick, it's not going to break apart, especially yeah. with the tuna because it's so it's true. delicate. It's true. There's not much holding together, like I said, so it's going to, if it sticks, it's going to blow up and you're going to have a pile and you're not going to be happy no with anything. No, you're not. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Wouldn't be worth the effort. In. So. And we have another chef, Chef Christian, by the way, who, yes, Chef Christian. Chef Christian. Yeah. Christian Emilio. You know oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's awesome. Say hello. Hi, Christian. Hi, Christian. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of visitors with us today, so no pressure. None. He also wanted me to tell no. you hi. That was nice, huh? Hi. That was like sweet. Yeah. <laughs> really, really good chef. And what did you have? What is in this little? So the accoutrement, the side item for awesome. the burgers are fresh cut, hand cut, by the mandolin. Um, <laughs> uh, what are these things? Pub chips. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> <laughs> I just love live, live chips. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> um, they're so they're cooked in peanut oil. Peanut oil is the best thing for frying. OK. Um, Ooh, good to know. No, oh, no, I didn't know no, that either. No. So Very did them earlier. Know. Toss them with a little bit of my seasoning that has uh, a little bit of adobo, a little bit of... Oh, that's um, right. Don't give all of it away. No. <laughs> a little bit of Old Bay and a little bit of mice. Oh, Old Bay is awesome. Yeah, so yeah. you get that celery salt in there, so yeah. it kind of livens Good your mouth stuff. up. So once the pan's hot and smoking, make sure I'm not burning buns. Oh, no, we don't want that. Nope. No, not at all. I mean, we like hot buns, just not burnt. No. <laughs> just not burnt. So. No one got the joke. I got the joke hot big buns. time. Back to these. <laughs> yeah, I think we all got it, actually. <laughs> so. I just, oh, my gosh. This Ooh. looks so good, right? Go ahead, so. That's when they're all set up and ready to go. Sure. I'm going to sear these in this hot pan right here. Oh. Turn it down just a little wow. bit. You're doing really great on time, by the way. That's good, because I have no idea. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell you how much time. But you're doing really good. You have plenty of time to finish and have a gorgeous plate. These are pretty ready. good. I like them. Oh, you're yeah. you know, I two. I ordered two. Hey. Um, so they're tossing a little bit of Parmesan and fresh parsley. I knew there was Parmesan on there. And then this is your dipping sauce. It's a little oh. creamy horseradish. You don't want to ruin mm. that. No, I so, don't. So as we're getting to the flipping point, you'll see that it's starting to... Don't come Lord, am I in trouble? Oh, no. <laughs> the bites are right on. Well... I don't know. What did you do? What was that movie a long time ago you. with the motorcycle? What's the message? Alright, this looks really so serious. So Tommy Borsumato say, Yum, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Ashley Stringer say, Whoa, that tuna is so pink. Oh, well, well. She thought it was watermelon at first. Oh my god! <laughs> that's great, that's a good sign. So here is the question, where does this fresh, fresh ahi tuna come from? The sea? Yeah, I was going to 
part of the sea or what store? Yeah, what sea? Japan Sea, American no. Sea, Indian Sea. Comes from the Gulf. Argentina. Comes from the Gulf. Oh, comes from the Gulf. Deep waters in the Gulf of Mexico, off of the uh, shores of Louisiana, a couple hundred miles out. Nice. Very nice. Did yep. you hear that, Greg? From the Gulf, right here in Florida. Anyway, Christian Emilio El Aje. Oh. Say hello, Tia. We are good friends, right? Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm that was crazy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think you are friends. Rachel. No, we're friends. I'm, not, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, just no, kidding. No, no, no. You're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Elena like and Mason and I were riding the motorcycle, watching the news together and telling cool story under the tree. Oh but my good. Dear, maybe you want this. Mm -hmm. You know, he's yet to ride the bike. I don't think he has a bike. I think he just dresses like that. I've never seen a bike. It'd be great to ride He it just in. dresses. Yes, exactly. Right? Maybe just like a moped even. I just don't think he has I think one. it's a tricycle. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Might be a three wheeler. I don't know. Might be. Or just like a big wheel. And he can just stay on it, down there. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're getting a good sear oh, on great. the tuna burgers. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Like oh, but yet right. still nice and rare in the middle. And that's helped also by the freezing of it and the chilling of it. Because you so, definitely don't want to do it immediately after you patty them. Was that only about two minutes for yes. each? Yep. Whoa. Yeah, so you're just searing it. Basically, you're just having sushi that's been seared Has and put it. on a bun. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to uh, grab the that's bun. something I've not had. Have you That didn't do anything. Had, um, Whatever. Not those, no. No. Right. Okay. So, I have not either. But semi, it looks great. Semi-toasted, but toasted. it's a brioche bun. Um, I like brioche. Nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Not going to mess with the... The hard, tuna the hard at all or, or any like of that. the other right. flavors. It's pretty right. mellow. So we're gonna do uh, a little bit of avocado ranch on the top. That that sounds excellent. You guys like spicy? I love spicy. You love spicy. I have a very high tolerance. You wanna try some pepper jelly? Is that hot I pepper do. jelly? Well let's see. That's we'll hot let her, pepper jelly. We'll let her try. Yeah, I'm sure it's hot pepper jelly, right? Uh, you you go right ahead. <laughs> You're all right here. I I'll, right. Some, I'll save this for you. Have you ever heard of Pepidus? Uh No, I have not. So Pepidus are a sweet, piquant pepper. Um, I have some. Kind of pricey. So um, they're cut with a little bit of red bell pepper and a little bit of habanero. It's okay. Made. It's really good. Spicy? No. You're good. I mean, it's spicy, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. but you're good with it. Alright, okay. I'll just let you try that though. Okay. That's the secret ingredient. If everything goes wrong, oh. just put that on something and it'll oh. taste good. Well, I just have to let you know I have a high tolerance. I, I eat ghost peppers, which is why that's not mm. that spicy to me. Ghost peppers are so, supposed to be the hottest, are they not? They are. Okay. So, my, oh. my spice level is different. Yes, it is. I don't, <laughs> you don't have a level if you eat ghost peppers. <laughs> There's no level. I hear that those are like, oh, look at that. So, we're going to do a slaw on top. Wow. I'm gonna bring the pickled onions in. What a present. How long did those pickle? Did you pickle those onions? Is there was is that like a day? They're or done in a day. A day, okay. Yeah. 24 hours, okay. <clears throat> I love this Asian spoon, by the way. <laughs> what does that mean? That we're not gonna see it again? I don't know, it's not mine. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> just thought I'd ask. <laughs> that looks fabulous. Look wow. at the top colors. Oh my golly, the colors are beautiful on that. Knife. Oh wow, that is definitely a work of art. Oh, I am impressed. Mom, I'm sure mom is impressed back there. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Wow, that is definitely a work of art. I wouldn't share that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Unfortunately, a, there's part of the remember that paper you signed at the beginning of the, yeah. of the thing. I have to share. Yeah, darn. That was, that was in there, but you didn't read that. that. Was it. That's why she made you that's sign it. that. That's exactly what. That's beautiful. So there's your finished oh, dish. Oh, that is so beautiful. Nice. 
hopefully I'm not shaking I love like it. a leaf enough to I love hold it. it. That's gorgeous. You know what? Did I finish? Did I, am I, did, You've got am I good? three no. minutes. You've oh. got three minutes. Is that shameless self promotion? Do you want to make another plate? I will. Because you have another bird. Let's go ahead. Oh, Let's do oh. that. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I signed nothing. Yes, in the contract. So I'll whip another one up together real fast. You guys want to go ahead and sample that, or? Uh, are we uh, I, you I know, know what? Or not. Let me call. Let me call our host in. I'm back. And we'll just start this process here. I'm back. Sachet. Here I am. Wow. Sachet. Look at all the food that appeared. Yeah. This is great. Hey, I saw that everybody else got like this blueberry concoction. Uh, oh, would you like to no sample that? I mean, I kind of did it. I didn't right? get it. No, yeah, I mean, you got to sample it so yeah. you can, you know, you got to know the pairing. Got to try that. It's it's so refreshing. Ooh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. it's very refreshing. Extremely. You got to do the pinky. That is good. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Hey, and he listened. Wow. He listened to you. That was amazing. Oh, uh, well, it matches mm, your shirt. Delicious. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. I think our chef is still plating up. Let me just grab a couple of forks here. Oh, yeah. So you definitely did this mm. under 30 minutes. That's good. Yes, it's very good. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, that's definitely ask. right. This is the, did you finish Good on job. time? <laughs> yeah, I finished. <laughs> We're under the gun. There right? we go. All right, so Miss Tia, if you would, yes. please assist me in tasting this. I would just cut one of those halves in half and then have yeah, at I'm it. I'm going to cut a little bite here. Don't be dainty. Don't gotta, be dainty. This is dainty be, food. You did your dainty. This is on mic. <laughs> you had the, um. Be manly. <laughs> Put like, your pinky out, we're good. Everyone understands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's you're probably just gonna have to pick that all up and just yeah. Okay. All right. It's cool. not really a force. It just looks so we will make it work and get it into our mouth. You got it. It just looks so good. Mm. Okay. Mm. I love the presentation. Mm -hmm. And then there's that that dip too for the right. chips. Try the chips. Oh yeah. Too. It's really good. Would you like to join me with a? we'll have a little chip Cheers. here? Yeah, cheers. 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 Um, good grief. <laughs> this is another show, but you know, hey, we have fun. No, it's good. And then you got to get. Is this one mine? Good man. Yes. It can be now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're all friends. Well, that's Sorry, great. So, what do you think, Miss Mmm. -hmm. 10 out of 10. 10 out really of 10? Nice. Thank you. We don't do ratings here, but we do appreciate oh, sorry. that. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> And so you think you would uh, make this dish at home for you and... Um, for sure, or, you know, hire him. Yes. You want to hire him? Yeah, you got to have a catering company. If he does, I think it's $10,000 per... Person? Per <laughs> sandwich? I don't know. I was you looking on the website, you know, I just, just clicking on things. I may have ordered 10,000 sandwiches. That's awesome. We don't know. We'll be ready. Uh, any Definitely questions? Bye. Yeah, go for All it. Right. Go to town. Yeah, right. Do you have any questions about any of the execution or anything like that, technique? Um... Yes. Yeah, so, how long do you do you put it in the freezer for again? About ten to fifteen minutes. That's all. Just enough to solidify it. Just, you, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you start to freeze the tuna, and then it starts to break down, and then uh, everything else starts to break down with so it, and it gets mushy. And when there's shrinkage, oh, yeah, yeah. it's cold. So definitely don't yeah. leave them yeah. there for an hour. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, not an hour. <laughs> definitely not it an hour. Is, it is a show tonight. Yes, okay. it is. All right. Well. I love it. Chef Michael, where can people find you online, should you wish to be found? You guys can find me on Facebook, on Tupelo Catering, or you can message me directly, Chef Michael Webb. I'm also on Instagram, at Chef Webb, I believe. But I don't use that that much, so. <laughs> well, you get to Just call me, right? <laughs> You'll check the inbox Eventually. once a month, right? Yeah. We'll get it, we'll get it. We'll, okay. get, we'll get to you. All right, everybody. Well, that's our show. That's our season, actually. Uh, so thank you for joining us uh, through this lovely season we've had. And um, keep cooking. Good night. Thanks, guys. Bye. Good night. Thank you, everyone.